All right, hey YouTube, what's up guys? I know it's been a long time. I apologize for my absence, but I am back. Team Natty here. How you guys doing? And this is a weird time, but we're all gonna make through it, uh, make it through it. And I thought, you know, uh, what better time to start making some YouTube videos again than a quarantine? Uh, because yeah, uh, just I was so busy and I've had a lot of personal issues come up, but I'm getting past those and we are moving on. So today we're going to do the first impressions on the New Balance. Fuel Cell Rebel. Now I've been looking at the shoe for a long time, been really wanting to get my hands on it, and I finally saw the opportunity. These were like, they're $130 regularly, but I saw them for like $95 on Amazon, so I picked them up. They had my size, it fits well, everything. I've taken, I've worn them one time out and uh, walked around the house with them and then walked uh, around outside with them, but other than that, haven't ran them. Today's gonna be my first run, so we're gonna see a little bit of that, but these are just my initial uh, it's gonna be initial impressions. This isn't like a full review or anything, that'll come later. But we're just gonna overview the shoe and look at it. So from the get-go, it's pretty slick looking if you ask me. I love the color way, I love this upper. It feels uh, fantastic. Uh, something like that the, the photos don't show online. This is like a stretchy collar right here. It's a booty construction, so there's no tongue or anything. And this is just like one stretchy collar, and I really like it. I think it looks slick right there, if you ask me. It's got like this cool little New Balance Rebel logo on it and everything. It's got this nice little heel flare right here. Nothing too big, nothing that you notice, uh, at least from what I can tell after wearing a little bit. This is actually like a cool little screen printed logo on here. It's not embroidered or anything. Screen printed logo. And we got uh, just this yellow stuff on the side here. It's like this thick trace fibers what they're calling it that comes out and it kind of like gives a little bit of like structure and support to the foot uh kind of wraps around it or at least it's supposed to then you got this little red wire that like the laces kind of go through and that's stitched in there fairly well i've worn these and i felt pretty locked down pretty tight but i haven't ran them yet so we'll see i uh, got a cool little fuel cell detail on the side there uh, this is the fuel cell foam it's slightly newer from new balance it's it's firm yet bouncy. I'll say that much right now. I um, I really love the fresh foam. You guys know I was crazy about the Zante Pursuit, but they discontinued that, unfortunately. Uh, but this is, uh, that's an EVA foam. This is a TPU foam. So uh, kind of like Boost, I would, uh, I would imagine. But it's not nearly as squishy. It's a really firm uh, foam until you squeeze it, and then it has a really nice bounce back. Um, the bottom of the shoe, the outsole, very minimal. So this arch part is completely exposed foam. You've got this thin, and I do mean thin, rubber heel covering for like the high wear areas. Um, and then this big old fat piece of rubber that kind of stretches from the outside of the foot all the way to the toe. And it's translucent rubber. Uh, it's nice and grippy. Like it doesn't look like it from the pictures online or the photos, but this is really rigidy and grippy and it's pretty thick. It's a pretty thick rubber, as you can see. It's really grippy. I can't wait to see how this performs on the road when I run. You've got this red area right here and you might be wondering what that is. It's actually a plate. So it is a, uh, it's not a full plate, but it's like a, like, you know, um, I don't know, a small plate just put there in the forefoot and that's going to give you that that nice snap and pop when you're running. It makes this shoe for, a, it's really stiff, you know? I mean, it's not as, like, look at that. I'm actually putting some good strength in that, and I can't get it to bend that much, that's that plate. Um, this is a nice stiff shoe. It's gonna, if you're looking for a speed shoe, tempo shoe, marathon, uh, half marathon shoe, this is probably gonna be it, because it's got that cushioning. Six millimeter heel to toe drop. Uh, really lightweight. I'll have to get you the exact weight on that later. This is a size eight, but I know the size nine is pretty light. I think like 6.7 ounces or something off the top of my head. That's a guess, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. But it's a really cool looking shoe, at least from just the first impressions and the... Oh, another thing. On this outside of the shoe right here, you have this flare, this wing that comes out. You can see it on the bottom right here too, but it flares out right there. And that is interesting. You might like look at it and be like, that looks whack, but actually I think it looks kind of cool. And after you wear it for a while, you don't really even notice it being there, but it really helps with stabilization. Um, if you have a pronate, probably not the best thing to wear because it'll force you to do that more. Uh, just, you know, kind of take your, your gait into consideration here, but 
that little wing is so like really is supposed to help with stabilization and towing off and if the way i run i go on the outside of my foot like that so that'll really i think it'll help with me so i'm excited to try these out we're gonna go for a run and i'm gonna tell you what i think about them initially after that Initial thoughts on the Rebel after the first run with it, I, I like it. It definitely pushes you forward. It definitely makes you want to run fast. It's definitely a different cushioning than I was used to with the Fresh Foam. I've been running in New Balance Fresh Foam shoes a lot, so it's a lot different than that. But it's interesting. It's springy. It's bouncy. It's not as soft and as plush as like as like an Adidas Boost uh, foam, which Adidas Boost isn't a foam, but the Adidas Boost cushioning. Um, I think that's like more like a sinking uh, cushioning, whereas this is like a springy, bouncy kind. Uh, the shoe is pretty hot. Like it doesn't. The I really like the like the knit and everything that they use, like the material, the way it looks. But it's really warm. It's not as breathable as you would like it to be. I, that's what I noticed. Um, you know, it's spring here in Ohio. It's very, it's temperate. I guess you would say it's like 60 degrees usually, uh, windy. And I noticed my feet getting hot and I'm like, what, why are my feet hot? And it's like, you know, barely warm outside. And it's this, the material in the shoe doesn't really, it's not very that breathable. It's not really that breathable. I've, I've kept it tied. I ran it like two or three times now. I've kept it tied and just like slip it on. That's the nice thing about it is I just leave it double knotted and uh, pull it over my foot. So it is like a sock in that regard, the rubber, uh, after a couple runs still looks clean, still holding true. doesn't show, hardly any signs of wear and tear, uh, even though each run's been four or five miles. It's definitely a shoe that if you're going to want to try to run, like a nice, like slow long run in, or just like, um, I don't know, recovery run, probably not the best thing for it. Honestly, every time I'm in it, it makes me want to run faster than sometimes than I want to. Uh, and it can put a lot of um, stress on your Achilles because it does want to make you push forward and run on your toes. So if you're trying to like recover or take it easy, not the best shoe for it, not the best shoe for it. This shoe I'm definitely planning to use for a half marathon. I'm thinking the half marathon barring, uh, you know, hope, hopefully things work out because I already signed up for it. I was supposed to run it already. I think I was supposed to run it uh, um, the 25th. What's today? Yeah, it was supposed to be ran yesterday. Uh, but it got moved up to August. So hopefully uh, with this COVID-19 business, everything goes smoothly and I can run it uh, in August. I'll definitely be rocking this bad boy. I like, it's got a good amount of cushioning, don't get me wrong and everything, but it just doesn't feel like I could run like super far in it without trying to go really fast. And I don't think I'm built to, to run the speed that would require this to run a marathon in. Uh, I definitely need something a little more cushioned, a little softer. So that's my initial review for the Rebel. I like it so far, it's just interesting. I'm not sure um, if I really like it or if it's just something that's not for me. It's a good, I think it's a good shoe or it could be a good shoe for the right person and for the right style, but I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, pros, like I said, really lightweight, really bouncy, makes you run fast or makes you wanna run fast and you can slip it on over. Cons so far is that it's probably not the best thing for uh, versatility as far as like other kinds of runs go. I think it's more like your quicker up-tempo pace shoe and it gets pretty hot and warm in it. So that's what, those are my thoughts so far. Um, we'll have a full review out later on that. And yeah, so you guys take it easy. As always, stay natty, deep natty out.